Ah, there she is. This is a queen I'm really excited about. Hey, Ryan Williamson here with Sourwood Farm. I am moving a nuke from a little temporary transport box into a wooden frame box here. And that's a queen I'm really excited about. Uh, been working on a project with my friend Keith White. We're going to call it the Magic Mountain Mating Project. And just wanted to, I'm going to show a video of us up there gathering nukes uh, that we shot a few days ago. And it's been raining ever since. So I brought these uh, nukes down here from the mountains with freshly mated queens. And now I'm moving them into boxes to do some analysis later on. The, the basic idea that's so exciting is that this is a spot where Keith has had really good luck at catching swarms that have had really good mite resistance. And so the, the concept he threw out was, hey, let's take y your queens from your tested stock and take them up to the mountains to, to mate with the Magic Mountain Boys. And, and, it, and it just seemed really cool because it's it, it, the closest we can get to controlled mating in a way in this area. It's up in this little mountain in holding that's a little you know, there's not, not much, uh, should we say, development in that area, so thus less beekeepers and more feral bees that apparently have really good resistance. So w what we did is we took up 20 colonies and set them up on a tent platform where they have a hunting camp, and there was already an electric fence, which was awesome for bears. You know, that's obviously a big concern. And, and we, um, that was three weeks ago, and we just went back and, and went through all the hives and had thankfully really good mating success, and and these are you know great brood patterns. Uh, really excited about it. In in bee breeding, there's a big challenge, which is that the queen can fly. You know, who knows? I've seen a queen mate you know as close as that shed over there, but also they could fly you know two three miles away, four miles away, five miles away. And if a queen's flying that far and mating with dozens of drones, it's really hard to do. Uh, controlled breeding obviously because the other half you know the drone half we we can't control and and thus people do instrumental insemination and and that that's why i was really excited about you know while i do contrive to have lots of good colonies here with lots of drone comb in them and flood the area with my drones I, you know i can only do so much and so it was really exciting to get this opportunity to take colonies up and see how they do mating with the, the Magic Mountain Boys. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into that video. But Here we are at the Magic Mountain mating spot, trying to catch some magic drones. Keith White and I are going through nukes. These are nukes we just brought up, and here's all the ones we've had out. So we're just checking for eggs and such. I was peek in this one, see what we got. Looks like I put a marked virgin in this nuke. Frame. This one's a little weaker looking, so that's a little worrisome. The last two have had eggs. Cool, slight drizzly day, so not ideal day to be going through without smoke. I see brood and brood. I'm curious about these queen cups. We got brood, that's what matters. So, as we are pulling these out that have a made a queen, we are then replacing with ones that. Are broodless, or I just have cat brood, and then we're you know plopping in virgins. Um, it's like I didn't get quite get the door shut on this one, so we'll put it in that place. Okay, let's see what's in this one. It's like Christmas. A bit stronger. So the reflectix to act like an inner cover, just so I don't get as much, um, so the lid doesn't stick. Good. Cat brood, got the queen back. So exciting. Get 
10 for 10 or? All right. I guess we must have a drone congregation area in the nearby. That's great. What is this entrance up? Ooh, this one's a little stronger. I mostly brought up pretty weak nukes just because I found that I have less chance of super seizures issues, um, or I should say emergency queen cell issues, introducing virgins with um, weaker nukes. And then the outer two frames are foundation just to slow down their um, getting out to the outer edge of these pro nukes where they violate B space. So if they do that, they make some really creative comb. All right, let's see what we see here. Given that they've drawn comb, Often means that they have a queen, and sure enough, capped brood. Successful mating. This is looking like a good trip so far. <laughs> okay, stakes are high. Keith got 10 out of 10. I'm at 9 out of 9 so far. Let's see if the 10th is a good one. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. They've drawn comb on the foundation. That's a good sign right there. Queenless typically doesn't do that. In fact, the weakest one was the first one we looked in, and I'm pretty sure that one had an um, emergency cell and did not take the version I gave them, which is why it had not drawn that foundation. Let's see. Ha, there's the queen. Ha, ha. Success. So we're 20 out of 20 for this spot. I'd say this layout, alternating colors and all. There's all the high colonies were taken back. That has worked out really well. Nice and shady, high beetle land. It's kind of cool. Under all the nukes, the ant black ants have made nests. All their big eggs. And there we are, set up and ready to roll for the time around. <laughs> Such a pretty spot. Bear fence is up. Starting to haul out the 20 successful mated nukes. And hopefully 22 that we just set up will be just as good. Goal here is to see, can we catch the magic drones and you know catch that side of things using queens that I've tested. So daughters of queens I've tested. And just curiosity to see how that combination works out. And, yeah, we'll find out in a few months when we you know, are able to you know, let these colonies grow up and see how they are treatment free. And we'll do Harbo assays and night washes and all kinds of good fun stuff. So it's, it's gonna be really fun. Uh, if anything, it was a good experience and beautiful spot to come. And, but it, it's gonna be a re really neat. Uh, oh, there's a group of bees just hanging out here lost. I think there was a little um, QMP strip that Keith was playing with. He lay down there and they can smell it. That's pretty neat. So, anyway, thanks for uh, watching this little experiment, and we'll do some updates in a little while. Take care.